Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. We are playing the game Creature Packets first. Is it too loud? Because I can turn it down a bit. How about now? How does it sound? Why is OBS shitting itself? Okay, sounds better. Okay, that's good. Alright, what? This is a recently made horror game, so I'm curious to play it. Hi, my name doesn't matter. Well, fuck you. I'm your boss. I'm responsible for you. Your job is to fill orders by cooking different tiny creatures. I hope you can figure out the equipment. It's all pretty simple. And please don't litter. There's a trash bin here for that. Fuck you. I do what I want. Well, good luck to you. And we'll move on to your first order. Microworm Scutigera Aphid Zero? Uh, oh, I got Microworm? What am I doing? Okay, so where's the screw tape? Goose? What's a scooter? A cigara? Whatever the fuck. Ah. Oh, okay, so two sco two of these make a skitera. Congratulations, you researched a new recipe. Your recipes are automatically added to the vending machine. And you don't have to create them in the blender again. Oh, well, that's useful. Alright, so aphid. Okay, so. Need you. And you. Boom! Now I got... Aphid! So we need one of you. 
one zero. Yeah. One one. Yeah. Okay, so when is this gonna get dark? Oh, do I put them in here? be their order. Great. Also, please note that when a new terrarium is delivered, extra creatures will, will appear there. If they are not in the order, just crush them. Move on to the next order. Oh. Aphid, two caterpillars, two snails. The green thing is the aphids, right? Uh, also, is, is stream doing okay? Because I was fucking up earlier. Okay, so get a caterpillar. I need two worms and a beetle. Stream looks good for now. Okay, that's good. So... When is it going to be the part where I just make a human infant? Concerned why there's a goose. There's a snail recipe. Oh, snail. Worm, caterpillar, aphid. You know what might be better if I just make all the recipes so that way I have everything? It might be smarter for me to do that. The fuck is that? Bookworm, is that you being hungry? Hmm. Don't worry, I'm fixing you a nice, juicy beetle, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so what recipe uses bean that I can make? Well, I can make that. Literally none of the recipes. Well, I mean, I need two beetles for that. Can I not place it? Guess not. Alright, so for... <laughs> Hi, Chew. Uh, weird bug, caterpillar, snail. This will actually save a lot of time. I got the frog. So I need two, a uh, uh, frog and two beetles. Scorpion. Now I know there was a Yeah, two scorpions and a frog make a crab, apparently. Just so everyone knows. I need to make butterflies, so... I don't think I can do anything with crab at the moment. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, I need to make a butterfly, which is... Caterpillar, weird, weird bug, aphid. one that I needed a butterfly for. Which one was it? So a recipe that required a butterfly. Ah, butterfly squirt scorpion crab. Makes a tarantula. I unfortunately don't have one, but he's doing great good cor okay that's good. Good corgi. Zero, four, nine, I think. I'm doing it right. Fuck, I fucked up. Butterfly scorpion crab. Okay, so be... One seven one nine twenty.
waist. Is it not a scorpion? Oh, that's a bat. <laughs> Snail, frog, butterfly. I'm a genius. And I put you there. And crab and scorpion. Now I should have every creature. Yeah. I don't need you, so go away. Alright. So how many do I got? Uh, I got one of each. So I need another caterpillar and another snail. I'm just waiting for how this is going to turn into a horror game. Good job. Next order now. Two snails, three frogs. I'm the ultimate employee, bitches. How do they... How does the frogs not eat the snails? Or can frogs eat snails? That's a good question. Can frogs eat snails? Good job. Next order now. One snail, one frog, one beetle, one butterfly, one bat. We'll do snail and frog first. Beetle, butterfly, bat. I can't move. What was that? Why couldn't I move? Everything okay? With stream? What happened? Butterfly bat, frog, beetle, snail. I'm still wondering why I have a goose. Good job, next order now. What the fuck am I playing and how is this scary? Two butterflies. One bat. Also, how long was this game? One scorpion. Set up in 19. And two crab, that's 20. The 
hell is that? You can't leave until you get the job done. Okay, last order for today. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so... Aphids, caterpillar, and snail. We don't need any of those. Sounds like a microwave. Uh-huh, sure, but... The growling from behind the wall sounds like a microwave. Butterflying bat. Scorpion. Crab and two tarantulas. I ain't here to grab any wall. I heard it from behind the wall. Also, I'm pretty sure microwaving animals as they make them live. I think the exact opposite. The working day is over, so you can go out the door. work was done, you decided not to return to that strange job. It was hard for you to look at the creatures passing by on the street. You saw them as a food packet that needed to be heated in the microwave. What? Okay, so let's fuck up this time. Because I did see Reprimand, and there's also the Goose Packet. That we didn't even bother using. I think we're using the last one. We used the Goose in the last one. Okay, so we're not gonna bother making anything. What, Shiro? Shiro? Everyone is just gonna get microworms. Except for the last person, they're gonna get a goose. That your order is incorrect. I don't give a shit. You get reprimand. See for yourself. Or is incorrect. All right, time to make the goosh. You fired. Oh. Well, guess what? I can't leave. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. This is supposed to be a microscopic horror game. Ah, oh, fuck, we're visible now. Warning, I guess it has flashing lights, so 
Warning for that. First thing in the job, not much information was given about it, but you really need the money. God damn, two games and I'm broke as shit. <laughs> wow, I'm fast as fuck. Let me go. Everyone needs to behave, sorry. Oh my gosh, Buck. But, lady, no, come back, come back. No! Eight two eight three. Um, Amoba, uh, Amobia. How the fuck you say that? Astralis. Uh, how the fuck you say that? Astralis are small, translucent organisms, shaped like water droplets with a bioluminescent star-shaped structure inside. These fascinating protozoans grow gently and are typically found on planets plant surfaces, and moist, humid environments. The process indicates a healthy, organic, rich habitat. The fuck are you? <laughs> 0073. Perdigradia? Perdigradia, more commonly known as water bears, are microscopic, water dwelling organisms renowned for their Resilience, these tiny creatures can survive extreme conditions including high and low temperatures, radiation, and even a vacuum of space. Tardigrades are found in diverse environments from deep oceans to moist moss on forest floors. They have studied for their they are studied for potential applications of biotechnology such as understanding extremophile biology, enhancing stress resistance in crops, and developing new materials. Their presence can indicate habitat health and moisture levels, making them valuable bioindicators. Tyrophages putrescentiae. I don't want to butcher all these fucking names. Trifophagus putrescentiae commonly known as mold mites, are tiny translucent mites that thrive in high humidity environments. They are often found in areas with mold or decaying organic material. Mold mites feed on fungi and mold, making them... Shut up! It can become common in damp or water-damaged spaces. While generally harmless, their presence can indicate underlying moisture issues and contribute to allergic reactions in sensitive individuals. Acarius fruin aegis, uh, that thing, commonly known as frost mites, are tiny mites characterized by their reddish colored bodies and eight legs. These mites typically invisible to the naked eye, though fully grown specimens may appear as small red dots. Frost mites are often found on metallic surfaces where frost is present, as they feed on oxidized metal. The presence of frost mites is a sign of high humidity and ongoing metal degradation. Well, Chew, if you hate ad, ask Bookworm for help. I'm sorry. <laughs> Micros radius. More commonly known as radiant microbes. Really? Are small glowing microorganisms that emit various colors. These microbes are often found in environments with high levels of genetic modification or environmental contamination. The vibrant bioluminescence of radiant microbes makes it easily recognizable. They are frequently studied for their potential applications in biotechnology, such as serving as bioluminescent markers in research, monitoring environmental changes, and exploring new med medical diagnostic tools. Their presence can indicate significant changes or disturbances in their habitats, highlighting areas of intent for further research. The fuck? Luminifera feliformis. More commonly known as phosphor tendrils, are slender growing tendrils that emit a bright green light. These tendrils are typically found in growing on dead trees and bark, where they anchor themselves into the decayed wood. The bioluminescence of phosphor tendrils provides a faint eerie illumination, 
Queen and Mesmerine display they are study for their potential applications in natural lighting and environmental research. Uh, Mucor heliocytus is a species of fungus characterized by its unique radiating spore pattern. The image displays the distinct circular structure of the sporangium, which exhibits a sunburst like appearance. Which elongated serrations emanating from the center. These fungal species belong to the Marchialis order and are commonly found growing out of stems from plants and flowers. Its distinctive morphology makes it easy to recognizable under a microscope, aiding in its identification and study in my mycological research. Aphidiolia, more commonly known as aphids. Oh, yeah, I grade a bunch of you. Are tiny insects typically measuring between 1 to 3 millimeters in length. These small, soft bodies insects are commonly found on a variety of plants where they feed on sap using their piercing, sucking mouth parts. Aphids are, are often green but can also appear in colors such as black, brown, or red. They reproduce rapidly and can cause significant damage to plants by stunting growth and transmitting plant diseases. Aphids are frequently studied in agricultural research due to their impact on crops and their interactions with plant defenses and natural predators. Oh. Lechines are symbiotic organisms composed of fungus and photosynthetic partner, usually algae or cyanobacteria. Lichens are found in a wide range of environments from forest floors to arid des deserts and even on rocks and tree bark. They vary in size and shape, often forming crusty, leafy, or branching growths. Lichens play a crucial role in ecosystems by breaking down rocks into soil and providing food and, and habitat for various organisms. They are also indicators shut up indicators of air quality as they are sensitive to pollution. Lichens are frequently studied in environment science and biology for their unique symbiotic relationships and ecological significance. Okay, that's weird. Drosophilia melanogaster, more commonly known as the fruit fly. It's a small insect that is easily visible to the naked eye when observed closely. Fruit flies are typically found around ripe or decaying fruit and other organic matter. They're characterized by their red eyes and tan colored bodies. Shut up! Fruit flies are extensively used in genetic research due to their short life cycle and well understood genome. They play a significant role in studying inheritance, gene function, and developmental biology. The presence of fruit flies often indicates a fermenting or decaying organic material in the city. Ankylostomia duodenae, more commonly known as hookworm, is a parasitic nematode that infects the intestines of humans. Hookworms are small, measuring around 7 to 13 millimeters in length, and are characterized by their hooked mouth parts, which they use to attach intestinal lining and feed on blood. Interaction, shut up! Interaction occurs when direct contact with contaminated soil, often when walking barefoot. Symptoms of hookworm infection include anemia, abdominal pain, and weakness due to blood loss. Hookworms are frequently studied in parasitology, medical research due to their significant impact on human health and their role in tropical diseases. What the fuck? Phytomorph meets Phytomorph Morph mutagen is a recently discovered organism known for, their, for its translucent blue growths that infect animals and plants. These organisms feature elongated tentacle like structures that draw nutrients from their hosts. Infections lead to rapid, unpredictable mutations in the host. Final morph mutagen effects and life cycle are still largely unknown, making it a significant focus on ongoing scientific research. Okay! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, well, this is the mutagen.
Pick up and nominate requires research to place some object before the cross. I don't like that. Uh, scan object using that button. Run! Oh, I can't move. I can't move! Oh, there we go. The way it looks, it's probably that. Press the penis button to remove or put on glass cover. Use the eye button to lower microscope for close examination of the object. I did not mean to do that. God damn it! Okay. So I'm guessing that's it. Your software has a code. Type the code into the keypad after scanning the object. If you don't see a life form in, your, in our system, type zero on the keypad instead. Pick the object. Again, place it back on the keypad. Okay, so what we're gonna, I'm going to do now is look around. Yeah. It looks like it's this stuff. Which is this. 0214. That's a plan. <laughs> I'm assuming one of these things is going to get really bad. Oh, wait a minute. The fuck is that? It's a star. Was there one that looked like a star? Yeah, there was. 8283. So this isn't that hard. I can already kind of see what this is. I don't have to remove the glass sphinx. I'm gonna... 
Tag. Tag. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever that shit is. Do that. I mean, do I even have to scan it? I can already see what this is. Not opening a canister. Can't tell if this is a rock or flesh. Quite obviously that. 9487. <laughs> Take one and pass the rest along. Oh. Oh, this is just a sad night. Do you want every scientist has to do it for your life? This is sad. That's a stop sign. I, I, oh, hey, 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 whoa, hey. Wasn't there one that goes with metal? Yeah, rest my. Most likely rest my. Versus the metal is red. Okay, 
well. It's actually this. Zero zero four two. These guys again. Zero two one four. So I did get a bit spooky when the lights start messing up. Just rust within itself. This has to be the damn mites. Whoops. I was right. Five two nine zero. I'm an expert scientist. Do you guys trust me to do science experiments? What in the fuck is this? Can't go in my room. Do I just... Oh, I just leave for today. See you later, bitches. I ain't getting paid enough for that. Well, someone's dead. They're very dead. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Shines onto your face and as vision blurred, but your body begin to change. That literally made me jump.
Oh my god. I was not prepared. I even moved my keyboard. I have to move my keyboard back. I literally slightly picked up my keyboard. Because <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> okay, so that one actually got me. Okay, I, I like this one. Because it was very subtle at first, and then it got you. So yeah, I, I, I like this one. Uh, we're going to come back to this game eventually. Because this game has six endings. And I'm going to want to play it. While well, finding out how to get all six endings. I assume one is just fucking leaving immediately. Just like, run out the door. Fuck that. <laughs> Next is night reception. I swear, if it, if it, beginning it says, I'm doing this because I need money, how many times am I going to have to join a horror place because I'm bankrupt? <laughs> There's a reg another regular shift for me, you know, checking guests in, finding their rooms, making sure that they were settled. Wait, now that I think about it, isn't that what my job is now? <laughs> it's nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best mood at that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before hitting. She was upset, saying I work too much. I never have time for us. Honestly, I felt just felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I'll smooth things over. As usual, guests arrived, and I did my job. Greet them and pulled up their reservation and guide them to their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but... Greet them... Pull up their reservation and guide them to their rooms. Maybe it was just me, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. And it turns out I wasn't wrong. Is this a picture of a guy holding a Pringles can? I thought this said race manager instead of race manager. Good evening. The name is Victor. I booked the room for tonight. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me and I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. But the room is comfortable. Four. Room number six. Can you turn on the radio? Can't turn on the radio. Go out here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four. Five. Wow, you chose a shitty room. Six. There you go. There's your room. Your room, Mr. Victor. Me anything or have any complaints? Feel free to call the front desk. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need anything. Appreciate it. Why was that TV glowing with radiation? I mean, well, more radiation than usual. No. 
No. No. Yes. I ever sent patient under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. Damn it. Oh, so how do you spell her name? How do you spell your goddamn name? Spell Evelyn. It would be P L Y N. It is because I didn't capitalize? It's because I didn't capitalize. That's fucking stupid. Room one. Alright. Why do everyone choose the goddamn corner rooms? Here's room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just call the front desk. Thank you. I can end mine. This seems nice. Skill issue. Shut up. Oh my gosh, that's the that's the guy from Turkey who without using any special equipment like everyone else in the Olympics got like second place, I think. In sh gun shooting, you you was badass. No. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Hello, my name is Starlet. I have a reservation tonight. You're absolutely epic smart. Works, man. Yeah. Yes, Scarlet. Let me show you the room. Great. Lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? What happened to Evelyn's name? Uh, it. Well. Meaning we're gonna have to go upstairs. So six is right there. So twelve is right there. Also, who the hell? Who the hell makes a reservation towards a motel if it's not for sex? Wait, what? That's twelve. I have the twelve key. Why? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what, right? You heard me. Did I grab the wrong key? So why your damn shirt said 12? Yeah, room number 12.
Open. There you go. My God. Serum scan it. If any requests or concerns, feel free to go to front desk. Scan it. So I don't need to. Thanks. Only two more rooms left, and then I can just watch porn. Masturbate. Gonna watch your plants and what? Wait until new customers arrive. A lot of plants, right? Is there some back here? Oh, I don't like them back here. I don't think there's any plants over here. Nope. Yeet. Oh, I can't move. Why does that keep happening? We won't know, Grace. I'm saying this is fine. I quickly looked over to see, I hit the start button, or well, actually Windows key, to see what emote it is. She won't know what this is. I cheated. Wait, what? Uh Okay, that was weird. Wait, do these count as plants? No. Well, I mean, it is a plant, but no. Does this TV count as a plant? Wait, what? I already watered all four plants. What other plants do I need to water? Wow. <laughs> Bookworm, spawn a plant in front of me so I can water it and get the next customer.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, let, I clicked on that door. It wouldn't let me open it. Oh, I can't pick up the knife. Should be in all plants. So I can't open this, and I can't open that. There's no more plants outside. I can't move. For the legs, stop, please. What the fuck? What are you doing here? It's middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on the swing? Oh, who's counting any years anymore? Time stops here, in this place. What do you mean? Should you be in your room or home? Home? Going here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Notice what? You're not making any sense. You'll see soon enough. We'll, we'll all do eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come when the lights go out. Bookworm, did you pay the light electricity bill? See you out of my bus. You have to pay the bills. There's a guy. Finally. Nope. Okay. God damn it, bookworm. I can't run a successful business if you don't pay the bills. I still pay the water bill either. So there's gonna be a shut up that dude. Bookworm. Why does she make me so uncomfortable? Why does she make me so uncomfortable, bookworm? Don't. Please tell me that's not that face doesn't only make me uncomfortable. Well, I'm gonna just gonna talk, I guess. I, I'm... Lydia, can you take me to my room? Where is Lydia? I'll take you right there right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just... I need to get settled quickly. L-Y-D-I-A. Uh, you don't have a room. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it, capitalization. Ten. 
It's so stupid because I spelled it correctly without capitalization. Here's your room, Lydia. Need anything? I have any problems, just call us. Thank you. I I, I will. Right. Keeps getting tripped up by basic grammar. Shut up. Shut up. We only got one more guest, and then I can watch porn and masturbate. And I would assume that's them now. No, no, I don't <laughs> know. Even the name's Damien. I think I have the room reserved near, reserved near room 11. Shouldn't. B N I N man. B N I N Damien. Yes, Damien, follow me. I'll show you to your room. Yeah, let's hope for a peaceful night. D A M N or Damien. Room 11. I did not misspell his name the first time. Fuck off. Took you long enough. This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. God damn it, lag! Damn it, I can't masturbate in peace. Good evening, this is the hotel kitchen. It's time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for your guests tonight? Good evening, we'll need five meals. We've got five meals. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect, thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. Cooking expertise. What the f Is this just a see-through Barney the Dinosaur mixed with the blob? <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Hi, Ronald. Hey there. Hey, here are the meals you ordered. Five in total. Thanks, you seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This just gives me a creeps at night. I get it same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem. Take care. Why was Ronald McDonald delivering food? Oh. <laughs> I 
better not have to remember people's names. And boom. Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. Will do. Try to rest of your night. Oh, yeah. Bookworm. Me and Jiri are going to do something new in November. For the content farm streams. Can I do the race, Scarlet? Yeah, I was just about to ask when it would have arrived. Here you go. Let's see if you need anything. Anything. I think, oh yeah, and I think those two was also another person. <laughs> oh, gee, what are you going to do? Uh, we, we will have a bingo card on screen. Where basically, let's say they do something... Uh, like, derived from the plot. That, like, say it's on the uh, on the thing, like, it, it's no longer the, the plot. Or, or if they do something racist, then we get like it off. Yeah, we can do a little bingo. Yeah. Oh, you scared me. Oh, sorry. It's about the night. Guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No, I'm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, so sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. Sorry, if you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a good night. I didn't even get to see her. I saw was an honor. That really reminds me of a Ronald McDonald horror game I didn't beat. Like that right there. I never beat it. I would just laugh too hard seeing Ronald trying to kill me. <laughs> Here's your dinner, Danny Man. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now. I'll let you know. Fucking dick. Oh, yeah. In November. November 1st, uh, there will be a little surprise. It will be only for one stream. And then I'll go back to using something regular. But there'll be something new in the first stream of November. And I'm not gonna spoil it. You'll just have to wait. Smell, Lydia. Oh, thank you so much. It's so quiet, it's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to go. Thanks, I will. Have a good night. Who never we can't get here fast enough. Alright, I delivered all the meals. Great, how did it go? Any issues? Not really, but one of the guests said that they thought someone knocked on their door, door earlier. It wasn't me. Hmm. Could have been another guess. These places can play tricks in your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the, the quick service. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I hear you. Got one more round of deliveries and I'm out of here too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You too. Stay safe out here. Oh yeah, and there also will be 
a, a surprise on Christmas string too. Uh, I most likely will take Christmas Eve off because I'm gonna be celebrating Christmas on Christmas Eve. But every other day in December, I will stream. Jesus fucking Christ. Why does that look like queso? Mr. Davis, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. I'm oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room three tonight. Just checking in on things after the power went out. Wait, I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just had to reset the breakers. Good, good. I was worried about something more serious happened. Power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk is a little bit messy, don't you think? Could you tidy it up before the next guests start noticing? Sure, I'll take care of it right now. Thanks. I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. What the fuck? What is that? Did someone shit on my floor? What the fuck? Okay. Yeet. Am I supposed to grab a tool or something? But yeah, like I said, um, uh, I'll be taking off Christmas Eve, most likely, because I'll be subbing Christmas that day, because I, because I, I am forced to work Christmas, like, all day Christmas. Sets. Hello. This is reception. I'm Scarlet in room 12. Listen, something strange just happened. While the power's out, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's not silly. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come right away and take a look. Okay, thank you. Well, please hurry. I feel really uneasy. And when I go up there, I find a dead body. What now? Oh, who is this? I can't move. Some kind of drug can mess with me. Stop now. Say something. Who are you? You don't sound calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. Yeah. Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. Are you, are you gonna force it open? I was joking when I said I was gonna find a dead body. This how could this be here? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I don't have to use it. It's just a murder weapon. It's gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get through it. Reception call the police right away. Oh, 
There's a surface. What's going on? Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of the motel. Someone broke into her room. She's gone for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Oh, shit. Fuck. I wasn't prepared. I didn't know I had to do time events. Well, at least I'm prepared this time. Oh, do I have to call the police? No, don't tell me I have to deliver all the food. Oh, this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. You couldn't put me in a better safe spot? So, uh, Bookworm, how are you doing? I did not mean to go there. Well, I guess you're going to get your food next. I don't know how much longer this takes. This might be the last game of the night. Because I have work tomorrow morning. All right, finally, last bit of food. Alright, now Ronald gets the hell out of here. I still have no idea what the fuck this thing is.
now I get my broom. Alright. Ignoring that phone call. Oh, god damn it. I actually have to answer the goddamn phone call. That is so stupid. I don't think I have much longer left. I hope, at the very least. Now, time for the quick time event. This time, I'm more prepared. Surprise, bitch! Just five, but Scott is still missing. The please will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll never forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. That wasn't that bad. Not bad at all. 